All right, today we are gonna go over the charging system, how to check it on the uh, Briggs & Stratton, it's a Vanguard motor. Uh, this motor is mounted on a Toro Greensmaster uh, T-mower. And basically this is what you have. Your alternator, which is located inside of the motor behind the flywheel, you will see this cable running out above your starter. And this is the voltage regulator here, which plugs into the alternator. So your flywheel is spinning, sending your current from the, call this the stator or the alternator, through there into, see this here, sends it into the regulator, and the regulator sends it out to the battery. Now if you're having charging problems, one of these two is bad. You just have to figure out which one, and we're going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, this is the motor right here. This is a Vanguard. And on this particular unit, behind this exhaust, you will see the voltage regulator back there, which is this unit right here. It's mounted back there. And you just remove this bolt here. And that will slide out of there. Now it's going to have this wire coming out of it, which goes to the stator or the alternator. And it's going to have this one, which goes to the battery. So if your system's not charging, you want to check these. And this exhaust will make it easier if you take this exhaust off, which we already did. So I'm going to pull it off. I don't need another hand here. All right, the exhaust is off. Um, so now you can actually see your regulator here. This red wire coming out of your, regula uh, your regulator here, this goes into, on this machine, it's a green wire, which goes to the battery. Now, the stator slash alternator is the yellow wire here, it comes into the regulator in AC voltage, and it converts it, sends it back out the red wire to the battery. So the first thing you want to do to test it is test your regulator is you want to get your meter here and you want to set it. Now remember it's coming out of here on DC volts. So you want to set it on DC 20. And you're going to take your ground wire, which I have here, ground it to a bolt. And then the red wire, you're just going to, if you have this pointy end here on your meter, you're just going to kind of probe into this wire and then you're going to start the machine and that should give you a reading there. Pete, you want to fire that up? So we got our red wire in here. So as you can see, we had almost 13 volts coming out of there. So that's telling me that this regulator is good. It is passing through here, going to the battery. Now to test this alternator, you want to unplug this here. And these wires, are, they don't give you a whole lot of room. Hold on, I gotta get two hands in. All right, so they don't give you a lot of room in there. I had an old, regulator here so I cut the end off of it so what I'm gonna do is plug that in to that clip there and I'm gonna put my meter onto these wires here so let me go ahead and plug that in real fast all right so as you can see I have my little homemade adapter here so I have a little bit more room out here to play with now remember this is AC volts coming out so on your meter, the AC volts is the V with the squiggly line. So we're going to set it there. And we have to take our ground, put it on there, and our positive on here. And this should, at idle, give us um, somewhere around 15 reading and at full throttle anywhere between 6 and 30. Okay, yeah, you want to start it up?
that was actually giving us a 22, which is not very good. It should be somewhere around 30 at full throttle and 15 on idle. So that's telling me probably that the alternator, the stator needs to be replaced. So we will do a tutorial on that next.